Hey guys, June here with episode 6 in our series on invention, and I just wanted to talk about some stuff regarding the ARIT method of training. I did a little bit of math on the analytics of the MASCAB strategy, which you actually don't see me doing in this video. It's Saturday today, and the ARIT method has become so popular that there are not any free worlds in the MASCAB location. I hopped through all worlds over the course of about 45 minutes, and there were just no openings. So I came to Eagle's Peak instead. And the XP here is a little bit slower, it's about 10% slower than at the MASCAB location, but that's still very formidable XP per hour, and much, much better than the Muspo or Ganoderic Beasts that everybody else has been doing. One thing to keep in mind if you actually resort to doing this method as well is that cannon placement's a lot more important on the peninsula than it is on MASCAB because of the kind of strange geometry of the cannon. There's a lot of places where it won't draw aggression from all the spawn locations, so you just kind of want to pop it back and forth between different places and find what works best for you. Or you can just copy what I did in this video. This seems to pull the aggression from all the nearby locations. As for the actual core of this video, I did a whole bunch of testing for the last four or five days on the MASCAB strategy, and I just wanted to share the different results I got for XP rates and things. So on average, I was able to get about 588 kills per hour, which is a total invention XP just short of 1.8 million XP, it's about 1.78. And that is also an additional 1.2 mil combat XP. I was using attack, but any melee attack style would be fine. And 400,000 HP XP, as well as 78,000 prayer XP, all per hour. As for the different costs of this method, in general I used about 2,500 cannonballs per hour and I used 1.2 times a set of top and bottom armor pieces to be augmented. For the scythe you used about two-thirds of a weapon siphon per hour. One hour of divine charges runs me roughly one mil, though that changes depending on what gear you actually have augmented. And lastly, if you're buying a scrimshot of vampirism from the GE, that costs you about one mil per hour. If you add up all of those costs, you end up losing about 15 to 20 mil per hour using this method, depending on the current state of the armor, mostly, because they seem to be the most highly fluctuating item amongst those. Cannonballs seem to center right around 1k each, divine charges have been relatively stable, siphons have been stable, and vampirism scrimshaws are roughly stable. This is, of course, all offset with an average profit of about 6 mil, from the drops of the air, assuming that you are picking that stuff up, and that assumes that there's no bones, because you'll be using a, a bone crusher, which is what yields the prayer experience I talked about a minute ago. So the net loss from this whole thing comes out to roughly around 10 mil per hour on average. Even if you ignore all of the additional XP and just calculate the cost to invention XP ratio, it's about 5.5 GP per XP, which is really, really cheap. This puts it roughly on par with fire making as a cost skill, and everybody seems to unanimously agree that fire making is a relatively cheap skill to train. I wanted to get these numbers out for you guys because I know a lot of people who are still doing MUSPA, and really there is no reason to do MUSPA as far as I can tell at this point because the XP rate's less than half what you can get from Eret, and it's actually probably more expensive, as ironic as that sounds. So if you haven't tried out the Eret method yet, I strongly recommend that you do. It is, of course, exceedingly crowded, so you may have to go to the Eagle's Peak Peninsula like you see me doing in this video, and you'll get about 10% less XP, but that still completely outclasses Muspa by more than two times. Last tip for this video, if you haven't tried out using a Demon Horn Necklace at Eret yet, you may want to give that a shot. Reaper Necklace is still going to be a lot better DPS because you don't have a 100% hit chance against the Eret, but the Demon Horn Necklace will make sure that your prayer is full all the time and it eliminates the need to use any kind of prayer restoring potions, which means you can extend your trips and it's a whole lot less effort and makes it ever so slightly AFKable, though you definitely don't want a hard AFK because you can still die. So thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you in the next video.